Hello. Hello. What's your name? Jamie. Why have you applied to Oxford? Um, firstly, I want to apply to places that I live near to, and Oxford I live fairly close to. Um, one of the main reasons I applied to Oxford though was because of the uh, traditional um, basis of the learning as opposed to problem based learning and I think I prefer traditional learning much more because I'm the sort of person who likes to um, have kind of a foundation of knowledge before approaching a problem and that differs depending on who you are but I realised for me that traditional was the way I wanted to go and Oxford provided a traditional um, learning experience and another reason is that Oxford split up the uh, medical school into preclinical and then clinical and that was important for me because I really wanted I think the preclinical provides you with a really good um, foundation of knowledge that you can apply when you go into clinical in the future and that's why I wanted to uh, apply to Oxford. Where else did you apply to? I also applied to Imperial College, um, Nottingham and Bristol. Did you get any other offers? Or? Um, I got interviewed at Nottingham and Imperial College. And were they good? Did you enjoy it? Um, so I'd already got my offer from Oxford okay. and they were going to offer the same grades so I ended up not going to the interviews, <laughs> which I kind of wish I had gone to them. <laughs> what did you study at A level? Uh, I did maths, biology, chemistry, and French. And how well did you do? Did you enjoy them? Yeah, they were. I really enjoyed them. Um, it was quite a uh, nice coincidence that um, biology, maths, and chemistry were my favourite A levels, and also the ones that I needed to do to apply for medicine. So I guess that was quite a nice <laughs> realization. And then I also did French because just because I really enjoyed um, doing French. So I think choose A levels that you want to do as opposed to what you you you're supposed to do. Yeah. Okay, if you had to give someone who is applying to medicine some advice, what would you advise them? Just one piece of advice. Don't panic. <laughs> really, really, really don't panic. Um, it, it seems like there's, it seems like you have to do, you have so much to do and you're, you're doing your A-levels and you have to do all this work experience and volunteering and show that you're a nice person and show that you're really good at communicating and show that you're really good at teamwork and at being a leader and don't worry. <laughs> you, it's, it seems as though you have to do a lot but it's, it, it, it is manageable and um, it's, it's the process once you've gone through the process you'll you'll look back and you'll think I'm glad I like, um, managed to get through it and I'm I'm happy that I did it so I think don't panic <laughs> is the key bit of advice I would give and one last question if you would have had this opportunity to come to a conference like this run by Hatman and Medic would you have done it Yes, <laughs> I definitely would. Why? Um, because there are so many, there are so many um, different, different people in different places telling you what to do and how to do it. But I think this this conference gives you a really concise and helpful kind of approach to everything you need to know about applying to medicine and what you need to do when and um, basically what you need to do to apply for medicine. Brilliant. Thank you very much.